Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and you're gonna see me play some instant Ultimate Royale events today. This is gonna be my one day warm up before my VIP event tomorrow, which is gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna hop right into it. Now these events are a little bit different. These are the instant ones where they're gonna run every three minutes. Normally they're available to play every 30 minutes, but today we're in for a special treat. It's Wednesday. So the instants are going on right now. We're hopping right into an event, and I'm gonna go through my strategy on how I play these, okay? And I'll show you a little bit more when it comes to the strategy when we go to our next event. But this one was starting right away, so I wanted to hop right in and get playing. You're gonna see here that I am choosing the high flight ball to play with. There is a reason for that. The reason is when it comes to these instant events, well, really any event like this, the Royale events, I am assuming that I am going to make it to the final round, okay? And the final round on these is just the second round. Even though I started off the game there with a bad shot on my first shot, it's not going to really be a big deal. That zero points isn't going to kill me. I promise you that I'm going to make it here to round number two, okay? Out of the sand is my strength. There we go, right into the hole for the hole out. We're in the cup for the 910 points. When it comes to the sand shots, I do take that extra second to line my shot up. Like I said, out of the sand is my strength. I typically pick up the most points on the sand shots. Now, the reason that I'm using the high flight ball here is because of this reason. On these events in the pro division that I'm in, you get four of these for first place. Now, you also pick up two spider balls as well for first place. So, you know, every round is going to cost you one ball, regardless of how many shots that you take. So this first round right here is going to cost me one high flight ball. I'm just going to assume that in the final round, I'm going to get a top spot and I'm going to get my two high flight balls back hopefully get first place so that I gain two, and then I'm going to be gaining two spider balls as well. So here we go. We got 19, 18 seconds left. No big deal. We're making the cut line. Don't worry about what that thing said when I was down there at the bottom. Sometimes it's not 100% accurate. Oh, boy, look at that one. Just rim the cup right there. Can we get one more shot off? Had to hurry up and take the shot. I don't know if we're going to come in close or not. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad for just a fluke shot there at the end of the event. Okay, so we're done with round number one. Pro is a little bit difficult. You know, it's a lot harder to get the first place finishes. Although I've had a very good season here in the Royales, which I can show you. Maybe when we get caught up in like a two-minute break before the next event. Sometimes you're able to catch them one after another and just get yourself into a good rhythm. But, uh, you know, we'll see how much time we have left after this, and I can show you my season stats when it comes to the Royale events. I do like the instant ones. I think it's a great way to build your club cards. It's a great way to build your coins. They're great ways to build your, uh, you know, your ball selection, your inventory. And I'll go through some of that in a little bit more detail here in just a moment. All right, so when it comes to the rough iron shots, I automatically go full backspin, I take a look at which way the wind is blowing, and then I curl the opposite way. So right there, the wind was blowing to the right, which is why you saw me put left curl onto the ball. When it comes to the sand shots, I always go full backspin, and I try to put my ball guideline right into the cup. I suggest on these sand shots that you use a club that has good backspin and a great ball guideline. That really helps out with the accuracy parts of it, okay? That's what I do. It comes out to be uh, really beneficial. Here we hit an ultimate shot. It would be nice to sneak one into the hole here in the final round. Very, very close. You see that both my sand shots were left right there at the cup. Here, I don't know what happened. Sometimes I do that. I think I accidentally touched the screen too quick and then it throws off the view, but I was able to save it, no problem. Here you see the wind is blowing from uh, right to left, which is why you saw me put right curl on. I try to get these rough iron shots out as fast as possible. And then, like I said, I make up my time here, or my points here, by the shots out of the sand. There's an ultimate shot out of the sand. Let's get one in. Ooh, we're going to come up short. That was a little strange, huh? That's all right. Ooh, somebody was in the cup there. You saw the pin light up. 
I mean, somebody hold out. So we need to get one as well. Get us one. There we go. Now we're in the cup. Imagine that person who just got it in there as well. Let's get another one. There's another rough iron in the cup. Very nice. That's going to help propel us up in the standings for certain. But here you see max backspin, and I just get that shot off as quick as possible. I've gotten really good with the timing when it comes to those rough iron shots, right? This is probably going to be our last shot here, so we'll take our time. We did hit ultimate. Let's see. We can put three of them in the cup. Yes. So there we go. Hopefully I get that kind of luck tomorrow night when it comes to my main event with the VIP Royale. But, you know, this is how I do approach the Instant Royale events. You see here we won by about 900 points. So, you know, that was a pretty competitive round considering that we had three holdouts in that event. So let's take a look at what we profit during this. We'll open up our bag here. We're gaining 11 rough iron cards. We gained four high flight balls, but remember we used two through that event, so we're positive two there. And we're gonna gain two spider balls as well, and then a whole bunch of coins. Now I have a ton of coins. The most important thing here to me is getting those balls and getting those club points for our team. And then also you can see here that this is the Royale update as far as the ultimate cup goes. I'm sitting in second place in this particular event so you know the only thing is is i haven't really played a whole lot of tournaments this season so that's why i'm sitting in 96 overall i definitely need to pick up tournament play over the next 11 days and you know i definitely intend to do so but when it comes to the royale events here you can see that you know um I already accomplished my 25 first place finishes i think that number has been stuck there though because i do have more than that so I'm not too sure of why that number uh, says 25, but overall, uh, my average finish position says first as well. That's a little confusing. You know, I don't know exactly uh, how those stats work. Maybe I'm just missing something. We do have something here in the news section. All right, Schooner, thanks for taking my invite reward. So we can collect this while we're waiting for the next event to start. And then I'll kind of go through my strategy when it comes to these, all right? and give you a little bit more detail on why I do what I do on the instant events. So for example, when I go to Golf Royale here, I see that we're starting it up in a minute and 40 seconds. It costs 12,500 coins to get into for the pro division. We can win up to 50,000. We can win up to 20 country club points. And again, as you saw, the four high flight balls and the two spider balls as well. And we get a little bit of club cards now. When it comes to the instant events, because you get to play them so quickly, the rewards are a little bit less than the regular events. Keep in mind, the regular events, they run in 30-minute intervals, and they're three rounds as well. You do earn more club cards in those events, all right? Um, so, you know, each one has its pros and its cons, but for me, I really like these because you can get to get into a good rhythm, Right? You get to play one after another. If we open up our bag a little bit faster, which I'll do after this one, we might be able to just get into them one after another and not have to wait the two or three minutes like we had to here. But when it comes to these, my strategy overall is take a look at whatever division that you're in and then see what the rewards are, right? Because if you're in a smaller division, the top ball reward might be a spider ball. But keep in mind, your win strengths are going to be less than what we're dealing with in the pro division. And that goes for any division, right? The lower division you're in, the easier the wins are to handle. So therefore, the rewards of the balls are a little bit smaller. You know, I recommend that you work on your skill, right? So... A good rule of thumb that I've been following in this game is I use whatever the best ball they're going to give me back in the rewards are because I just go into it assuming that I'm going to make the final round and that I'm going to get a top spot. Does that happen every time? Of course not. There's going to be times where somebody beats me. There's going to be times, although very few, that I don't even make it to the next round. But more times than not, I'm going to end up getting a top spot in these events. And so... I end up building my balls uh, up, you know, at a pretty good pace. This is a pretty long rough iron shot here, but I do go with the same approach here. 
full backspin, curl the opposite way of the wind, and I'm going to take that shot from that type of distance all day. This is a very long sand shot and a very odd one as well. A great shot there to the right. Wow. Okay, so that, so we just have to take down these little notes here. So even though I got zero points there, I don't worry about it. You know, again, I just assume that I'm going to end up pulling off some good shots and get close to the pin and get myself back into the final round. Don't ever like stress out or get worried if you make a bad shot or two. Like it's going to happen to everybody. The most important thing is, is just to make sure that you just keep your composure and you just keep moving along and just trust your instinct and the skill that you have when it comes to these games. I definitely recommend that on these rough iron shots, you get used to the full backspin and just releasing the ball or the, what should I say, the needle as soon as possible. If you get really good at it, you'll start to get that timing down. And you can see here, I'm really struggling with this sand iron shot. So I'm typically best out of the sand, but the way this one is bouncing off of that fringe or rough area is a little bit difficult for me to get it down on. I don't quite have the backspin with this club to get the ball to die. So that'll be something that I'll have to work on. There you saw me move my target uh, just a little bit on the rough iron. I typically do it from a longer range shot or if my bullseye just is nowhere close to the pin. I kind of just, I see it and then I know when to do it. And you'll get that as well once you do a lot of these events, right? This is that really, really weird sand iron shot again. I think I'm going to get it off anyways. That's all right. You see here failed on four shots i believe i think four shots here we picked up zero points but it's only the first round it doesn't matter if we get first place in the first round or if we get 10th place in the first round it's all the same our points are not going to carry over to round number two the most important thing is that we just move on to round number two which we do now this is the round where we need to get it together this is the round where our shots do matter we are looking to get to the number one spot and we'll see what happens. But this is ultimately my strategy, right? I take, I take a little bit of that extra time on the sand shots because for me, that's what I'm good at. You'll have to kind of, you know, figure out what shots you're best at. And that just comes with practice and playing as many of these events as possible. Now, the sand on this particular course is a little bit challenging, right? It's not really a straight shot. Look how far away this sand shot is. Super far. But we're going to just aim sort of around here. And then hope that we hit ultimate. We did hit a great shot to the left, and that's going to be pretty far off. But at least we're picking up points. Pretty far rough iron shot here, but I think this is going to come in really nicely. I will take this all day from that type of distance, getting ourselves right at two yards away. That's great. A little bit too quick with the release there. But still, you know, for a quick fire shot within two yards, really good. We'll take that as well. That was a quick fire ultimate shot. And somebody, wow, somebody got the ball into the hole there. So that's huge. From this range, there's another one in the hole. So great job to those players. That's awesome. That's going to be very tough to get a first place unless we get a lot more shots off than them or unless we drop a shot as well. But this one's going way too fast. Whew. I'm glad it didn't roll off into the fringe. I'm glad we at least got the points there. That's another ultimate quick fire shot. So for me, I'm going to have to really focus on just getting as many shots off as possible now and hoping that they all land onto the green. Or maybe the people who have the hole outs, maybe they've picked up a shot or two where they have zero points because some of these shots, as we can see here, are a little bit tricky and they are a little bit further away than some other shots. So if I can continue this type of pace and keep picking up these points and keep getting the ball a couple yards, one yard away from the pin, I could ultimately pick up a win here. As you can see, it has me in first place, but you can't always trust that thing up there. We have 10 seconds left, but we're gonna get one more shot off. Very long range um, rough iron shot here. So again, just looking for some points. Got that one off before the buzzer. Here we pick up 600 more points and we'll see what happens here. 
boom, back to back. We are the winner. There we go again. Won that one by about 800 points. We're going to go super quick and trying to open up the bag in hopes that we can sneak ourselves right into another game. But there you go. You see the rewards, back to back wins. Unfortunately, this is taking up time. That's taking up time. Too much time on loading screens. Boom! <laughs> we got in there with three seconds left. That's why I'm saying if you open up your bags super quick and you can get through those next screens really quick, you can just sneak yourself right into the next Royale. So here we go. We're two for two so far with the wins. So that's pretty awesome. That means we've gained four high flight balls. We've gained four spider balls. We've given ourselves 40 extra country club points. Now, these ones I'm not good at, okay? These, these long shots here with, like, the short iron, I'm not the best at, and I took way too much time on this particular shot. You saw all my opponents were off a lot faster than me. However, uh, maybe that extra time helped because it looks like I was the closest to the pin, but I do have to make up these crucial seconds somewhere else. Um, but again, put in perspective, this is only the first round. We're just trying to make it to round number two. There's a sand shot. Got pretty close to dropping that one. But again, being round number one, I'm pretty confident that we're going to the final round. So we did learn off that first shot there that if we get it again, we can kick it off that little rough and try to get it to bounce to the left-hand side towards the pin. This is that same type of shot that I was just talking about. But look at that ball guideline. Very strange, right? The needle also moves very slow with that particular club. So that, that's taking up a little time. Look at that shot, though. Very close. So we're getting pretty good at that bank shot there. Let's see if we can get one in the hole out of the sand here. Ah, great shot to the left. Looks like a pretty good roll, though. Yeah, we did get into the hole, all right? Like Babe Ruth calling our shots. Another great ball here, but that's okay. Ultimate great on these rough shots. You know, it's not the end of the world. We're just going for speed. Speed and accuracy are the name of the game when it comes to those rough iron shots. Hmm. It's going to be the last shot of the round because it's going to take a while in the air anyways. It's that bank shot again. It's going to go a little long. You saw there that I was trying to move my target back, but then I got caught in between clubs. So we have to be careful for that one there in tailwind. But here we go. We're advancing to, advancing to round number two, and we're seeing some familiar names and uh, basically game icons here as well. So... Here we go, everybody. Let's see if we can get some more good luck. See if we can take home another top spot. That would be awesome. All right. Final round. Looks like we're starting off pretty far away from the hole here. It must be a short iron shot, maybe. Looks like we're on the fairway or on the fringe. I need to get the timing down with this club better. See, when I let that needle swing all the way to the right and then come back to the left, trying to hit ultimate, those are valuable seconds uh, that waste away. So if I can get the timing down better like I do with the rough iron here on my short iron shot, I might be able to pick up one extra shot per round, right? Which would be huge in these types of events. Would love to get this one into the hole. That would be a great way to start the final round. Come on, get in there. And we do. Man, I'm calling them during the swing. Awesome. So we're in the cup. And look at this. Rough iron, ultimate shot. Sit there. Very nice. So that's back to back. Really awesome shots. And I'm not great with my short iron from long distance. You know, I take too much time. But here, I think ultimately I'm going to be pretty satisfied with that shot. We'll take that all day. We make up our time on the rough iron shots. A little bit too much power on that one. A little bit too much juice. 
Another sand shot here. Ultimate shot. Can we get another one? Can we get another one? Oh, we hit the pin. We hit the pin and we bounced out to go almost three feet away from the hole. Jeez, oh. That's all right. I think I hit this one a little too hard, too. Yeah. I'm going to go just slightly past the cut, but we're still dead on. Somebody's in the hole. Ultimate shot here as well. 12 seconds, 11. Come on. Would really love to get one more shot off. Can we get one more shot? We did. Boom. Don't know how close we'll get, but we did get one more shot off. So it's going to be another six, 700 points. It looks like 800 points. That'll be huge. I don't think we could have got first place without that last shot. There we go, everybody. We are three for three. And we did need to get that last shot off to get first place as we barely, well, we won by 700 something points, it looks like, off the top of my head. So we'll open up the bag very quickly. There's the rewards. Let's tap to continue. Let's get, let's get past this. I'm trying to hit the screen as fast as possible. Let's get past this. We'll back out of here. And then hopefully we can sneak into another one. And we do. Look at that. So you got to go fast to get into them. Because you see this one starts in four seconds. The next one starts in a little bit over three minutes. So we are three for three on the Instant Royale events here. Pre-recorded session today. And the reason that I'm doing that is because we are getting dumped on when it comes to snow. I'm afraid that with the snow and the sleet and the ice... For someone like myself who lives out in the country, our internet has been very unstable today. So I wish I could have got on here live with you all, but I'm just afraid that it would be a bad stream and I would get knocked off during it. Okay, I am not good with the Wedge Club, the Hive here. I have no idea where to put my adjustment at. The needle moves a little bit slow, kind of like that short iron. In here, I'm just trying to get better with this particular club. Look at the backspin. Okay, you know what? That's not too bad. Again, it's first round. It's good to learn in the first round because some of these events are different, right? Ultimate shot out of the sand here. Well, it's coming in okay from distance. You know, I do hope that watching me play these is helpful. I really do. That's why I do it. Uh, if there's any questions or comments or concerns or if you need any help, I just talk to me. Just put it down there in the comments. And I really do my best that I can to answer every single comment that comes through. Of course, sometimes YouTube doesn't notification or doesn't send me the notification that a comment came or or something like that, you know, but I would say that I get to at least 90% of my comments. I help you with the game, I'll walk you through stuff. Um, I do the best that I can staying connected to the community. So if there's anything you want to see or any help that you need, put it down there in the comments below. If this is for some reason your first time ever seeing my content, I hope that you'll like it. I hope that uh, you'll hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And if everybody would give me a thumbs up before you leave the video at some point, that would be really cool too. I'm very appreciative. So here you see we have 30 seconds left in the first round. You can tell we're easily advancing to round number two which will be the final round and hey if you want to try ultimate golf if you're like hey you know what this looks like fun this is something a little bit different than what i'm used to when it comes to these finger flicking golf games check out the description to the video would you because in the description to the video is going to be my personalized link to download the game if you click that link it'll take you right to your app store or your google play store it'll let you download the game for free and believe it or not, it does help me out a little bit when it comes to my sponsorship with Miniclip, who is the developer of the game. So please use my link to download the game. That would be sweet. Here we go. We are in our fourth Royale event, and we are heading to the final round. And where we are, we've advanced. All right, Itty Bitty, I'm coming after you. Eric is on my heels. We got some tight scoring here. So... You know, we'll see if we can pick up a fourth win in a row. I don't know. It's very difficult, right, to win every single time. But three out of four, 75%, you know, we'll take that type of success rate all day. But so far, we're three for three, which is 100. So where are we going to go? Nobody knows, but we'll know in two minutes. Here we go. Four, our fourth final round in a row. Looks like we might be coming out of the rough here. I always try to take a look real quick before the round starts. 
just to kind of see where we are. We are a very long distance rough iron shot here. So this is going to be a rare time where you do see me move my rough iron target. And I did go with, uh, tried to go with full overpower there. We're still going to come up very, very short. That backspin is going to burn us. Now, this is going to be a situation where we need to hit some bomb shots here uh, to get ourselves back into the standings. At least we hit an ultimate shot out of the sand, but again, very, very far shot out of the sand. Hard to judge that ball guideline when you're trying to get the shot off extremely quick, right? So now we got to get some rapid fires off. We're going to need to get a little bit of luck and try to find a hole out. There's an opponent to hold out. That'll be, <laughs> that's huge for them. We're already down almost halfway through round number one. Mm. Well, everybody, I think the winning streak is ending at three first place finishes. That's okay. You know, you just can't win them all, even though we want to. It'd be awesome if we could. then we also can't be too greedy. That would be nice if I can get myself back at least to a top two spot. But we'll see. No big deal. 30 seconds left on the shot clock. Way too strong on that particular shot there, too. These super duper maximum range um, rough iron shots got the best of me this round, right? Ooh, I think we got that one off with zero seconds left. Probably going to be our best shot of the round, too. It is. All right. Well, hey, we did our best. I tell you what, let's go for one. What? We won? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I cannot even believe it. We did. We did pick up the win thanks to that very last shot there. That was a more difficult event. I thought for sure, for sure I was not going to be the winner. But we did sneak out of first place. Look at that, four for four. I'm going to go one more with you all. I'll play five of these events. Did I get in? Oh, it already started. So we have two minutes and 50 seconds before the last one starts. I guess that'll give us time to decompress for a second there as we went four for four. I had no idea that we were even in contention to win that last one. How exciting was that? Let's take a look here at where it says our Royale is now. Yeah, see see where it says first place finishes 25? Um, obviously, that's not right because you saw me just pick up uh, four wins in a row here. So, you know, I know that it's more than 25 as I've been very successful in the Royale events this season. Pretty much overall, I'm pretty strong at these events, so... I really do like them. It's, it's definitely my favorite part of the game, for sure. While we do have a little bit of time here, uh, if we go to connect with friends, there is my friend code, K8GYARY8. If you've been watching my content and you have not added me as a friend yet, please do so. If you're going to download the game for the first time, once you get through your tutorials, please go to this section here and add me as a friend. That is how... You saw me open up that reward earlier during this session where I got all of that cash and those awesome rewards. It's a great way to build your cash. It's a great way to get involved with your friends in the game. You can play head-to-head -head contests with them, all that type of fun stuff. Now we're down to a minute 30. We're going to go one more. We're going to go into our fifth event and see if somehow we could possibly pick up five wins in a row. I don't know what's going to happen. I cannot believe that we won round <laughs> that last round there, our fourth one that we played. Wow. I was shocked when I saw that we won it, and you were probably shocked as well. But here we go, everybody. We're down to a minute. I'm pumped up. It's been a great, great session here. Down to 59 seconds. Here we go.
30 seconds. I feel like it's taking forever. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to hop in there now. Boy, I wish I was playing this live. But as I'm sitting here playing, I'm looking at the snowfall pretty rapidly. And it's supposed to go all the way through tomorrow evening. So we'll see. You know how the weather forecasters go. You never know. You just never know. What I do know is that we are starting off another event. There's going to be event number five. You already know we're four for four. Let's go. Round number one. Ooh, this one, okay, these are going to be my worst events, everybody. You have to know your strengths and your weaknesses. I am not good at these ones with the wood club and the drivers. I typically stink it up. When I don't make the final rounds, it typically comes via these right here. So that's something that I need to work on in the game. These long-range shots, definitely not my strengths. But I don't want to let you down. I don't want to disappoint. I just want to make sure I get to that final round and then, you know, let the luck falls where it falls, right? Here we go. I can get some points on the rough iron shot, though. That's a good one. Oh, somebody's in the hole. Nice job. Okay, we're going to quickly putt here. Was not ready for that. Got to get in the hole on the putt. So you see everybody's in the hole on the putt. So you got to gotta stick those. Oh, no. We're going to come up short. I even took backspin off of that one. That's okay, though. That's, that's not going to kill us. we can land this one on the green we'll be fine but we're gonna come up wow whoa why did that one come up so short with all that overpower it's okay okay we'll make it up here on the rough iron shot look at that we're very very close to the cut line we have people in the hole maybe we're putting now everybody yeah so when you see all the people in the hole that typically means a putt is coming so just kind of watch for that as you see here, the 1,400 points, I mean, that's just crucial. Time's up. I think we advanced. Pretty sure we advanced, right? We did. All right, perfect. Wow, the Biscuit 18 crushed it. I mean, just pretty much outside of second place, you know. You know, they beat second place by about, what, seven, 800 points? They were about 1,500 points above third and me. And then about 1,800 above fifth. So yeah, they, had a, they had a great round. All right, here we go. Final round, everybody. This will be tough to close out a five for five for the wins. But overall, even if we don't, obviously, extremely successful five games. From what it costs us to get in ball-wise... Uh, everything's just been in the positive for us so far here. Well, ultimate shot, but we'll see how far this ball carries on us. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, way beyond the pin, but, you know, I was going to get caught in between clubs if I had to move my target down any further, which is the tricky part there. I'm trying to curl against the wind here with this hive club. Trying to get used to this club a little bit, but I'm doing a little bit better with it. That was a great shot. We'll take that all day. That's a bad shot, though. Hopefully my curl bailed me out, and it did. Okay, so, so far, shot number two and shot number three, everybody, really, really solid here within two yards. This is a long-range putt. If we can get this one in, we'll take our time here for a second because the points will be huge. Ah, no, nah, I did not hit that one perfect. But you see here, this long-range putt, a lot of people are off. 
Oh, goodness, we did get it in. We did sneak it in. Huge. I'm just going to say you all are good luck for me here. Ultimate shot with the wood club. But again, I'm worried about how long this one will carry. That was okay. That was not bad at all. I think we're going to be in contention, everybody. We're going to be pretty darn close here to competing. We should have one more putt coming up too, so we got to make sure we're ready for that as well. But, you know, everything on the green so far, so at least we're picking up points. The shot's coming in good. Sit. Oh, man, very nice. Maybe the putt's coming up now. Yeah, we're going to take our time with this putt because, again, obviously if we can make it from this distance, those 1,400 points could put us in first. I think I got it off right there at the zero second mark, too. Oh, my gosh. That was, like, right at zero seconds. We'll have to look at it. Look at this. Get in the hole. Are you kidding me? Right now, we are five for five. Look at that. Winning this one by over 1,200 points. Holy smokes, everybody. This is just a ridiculous run that we're on right now. There we go. One more. Yep, we're going to get in one more here. One more. And we're starting right off the bat, too. Love it. We are five for five, everybody. I cannot believe it. I don't know if I've ever won five in a row, to be honest. I know I've won three in a row quite a few times, but five in a row, I don't ever recall that. So that's pretty exciting. But I'm a competitive person, too. So to me, it's exciting to pick up this many wins in a row. Oh, that's a bad, bad kick. Kicked it right into the fringe. Wasn't expecting that. All right, let's get ourselves on the green. Let's get ourselves on the scoreboard here. Sit. Woo, we got to be careful for the left-hand side of this hole here as it does seem it's sloping pretty aggressively downhill. This is going to be a very difficult shot here. Super difficult. I just need to get, this one's going to carry. Woo, goodness, everybody. This is a tough, tough event right here. We have one minute left. We're going to have to stick the majority of these balls on the green if we're going to make it to the next round. You see that we're right at the cut line, too. That was a good shot, though. That's going to help. Right, We're going to aim back and right here just because we can't catch the left-hand side of this green because, as you saw there, the ball definitely takes a roll down towards that fringe area. We'll take this. This will be a decent amount of points, too. This is going to really help us get to the next round. I think after making that shot, we're going to be safely moving on. This one here with the ultimate shot, we should stick this one on the green as well. Nice little rolls. Nope, I lied. Ooh, boy, look at that. Five. This shot is going to be way too. I'm going to have to go way over down here, I think, and, you, and try to hit great right maybe. So I did try to hit great right, like I said, right before I took the shot. Okay, that's good. We learned that. All right, we're moving on. Wow, that's probably our best shot of the round. We did advance. Now, this is the last one for me here. Regardless of what happens, even if we pick up a win somehow, I'm going to call it a session. Five for five is just incredible. I'm super excited about that. I love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what your best streak is ever on getting first place on these events. And let's see what happens here. All right, so this is our 6-1. All right, let's get this party started. Long range, look at the pin location. Tricky, tricky shot here, everybody. 
I'm going to try to play it safe. Middle of the green, you know, the wind is blowing to the left. Just kind of let the wind carry it. Utilize the backspin. Be awesome if that ball just sits. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Bounced right at the pin and just carried too far. Are you kidding me? Come on now. We're going to go pin high and let the backspin try to bring us back down towards the pin. One thing I noticed on the hive here is the backspin goes pretty wild, but look at that, not even close. Well, I don't know what to say about this one now. I can tell you this, we're not winning this one. <laughs> so no matter what here, we are not picking up the W on number six, but that's okay. Look at that. Somebody's in the hole. Excellent shot, whoever that is. This is way too far. I got to move my adjustment. This is going to be a crap show here. Let's see where this ball comes out to. Top spin's going to carry me way past the hole. Maybe we should have stopped at five. <laughs> but that is all right. I'm going to underpower this time. This time I'm going to go with the underpower. Because last time the ball kicked too far and went up into the fringe. Well, hey, at least we landed on the green. Goodness, at least we picked up some type of points here. The hive last time we had this wind, I just stuck it right into, yep, same area. So, you know, into the rough, got no points. Well, as they say, right, all good things must come to an end, and that is... The truth about our streak here when it comes to the Instant Royale events. But you see, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I do um, assume that I'll make the final round in the majority of the events. We made the final round at all of them. I assume that I'm going to pick up one of the top spots in all the events. And every once in a while, I have a dud like this. I mean, goodness gracious. So, eighth place on this one. But hey, overall, cannot be disappointed about winning uh, five out of six events here we still pick up some cards right we pick up a little bit of country club points and some coins but we don't earn any of our balls back that is it for this i hope that you tune in tomorrow for my instant uh vip royale event i will talk to you all later thanks